And here we have the 2016 version of the Jamaican bobsled team. And if you're wondering what they're doing in Vancouver, well, there's a pretty interesting story behind it. You guys were training in Canada, and you got stranded in Calgary. Yes, tra training in Canada, our van broke down. Which van is like broke a down. Which is the been broke down since we've been here. So then all you guys had to do is tweet out that the Jamaican bobsled team is in Calgary, the place, of course, that uh, this team first became famous. And the response was uh, incredible from the public. Yes, it was. Uh, people started to just helping us out, you know, a lot of good Samaritans. Uh, what's his name? Um, you guys got a van? We got a van. We got a van and uh, we got help with Wi-Fi and all of that stuff. So it was, it was pure joy. After tonight, you're heading to Whistler, uh, where you'll be, what is it, a competition or training? What's happening at Whistler? Yes, we're, we're actually going to a second leg of the North American Cup race. It's being hosted in Whistler, and then we move from there to Park City for the next leg, and the final leg is in Lake Placid. So you guys are you're good big guys, right? Big, <laughs> muscular guys. Not surprising in your case, because you played in the NFL. I did. I played with the Green Bay Packers for a number of years. And what's your role uh, on this team? I am the brake man. And so what is that? I don't even man. know what that is. At the start of the race, I'm in the back of the sled, driving with the pilot, the pilot's on the, the side of the sled, and make the, uh, the cadence, and we push, and then at the end of the race, you break. So we only had four mics that we could put on these guys, so I'm not rudely, well, I guess I am rudely ignoring you guys, but we didn't have enough uh, mics. So you guys are uh, originally from Jamaica or have family uh, backgrounds in Jamaica. Does that mean that every one of you has run the 100-meter dash? <laughs> <laughs> Who, who's the fastest guy? Well, uh, are you the fastest? <laughs> no question. No question. <laughs> All right. And you know who Donovan Bailey is? We're very proud yes, of Donovan yeah, Bailey, yeah, of course. Absolutely. And then he goes back and forth from mm -hmm. uh, Jamaica and, uh, and, and Canada. Um, how, let me ask you, you're the captain, how serious is this team? Because, you know, back in 88, it was a bit of a lark, right? Yeah. So so how competitive and serious is the no, team we're now? We're very competitive and serious. And even the other half of our team that is actually in Whistler, that's Jasmine Fenletter, her husband, um, Sir Fenletter, Anthony Watson, who is also a male, first male skeleton athlete. Um, so those guys are actually ahead of us. And we're pretty serious because we... We, we try, we are trying to dominate what we're doing. We're not just here just for show, we're not just here because of publicity, we're not just here because of the previous teams before, but we're here because we're serious and we're working hard and we all work hard to be here. Um, we get up early in the mornings, we, we train hard, we eat properly as much as we possibly can and we go out on the track and we give it our best on a daily basis. And training is for long hours, but we, we keep it up. We keep it up. So you played in one of the toughest sports leagues in the world, the NFL. You know what it's like to train hard and, and deal with competitive stuff. What would you say if somebody from a country like, I don't know, Canada, one of the United States, one of the, the, the powers in bobsled looked at you guys and said, you're Jamaica, you guys don't have a chance? We're athletes. And athletes can do anything that they put, that they put their minds to. So at the end of the day, we're competitive just like everybody else. We're going to go out there, we're going to step on the ice, and we're going to push, push the sled like how we're supposed to. If I had asked you five years ago if you would be on the ice on a bobsled trying to make it to the Winter Olympics, what would you have said to me? I would say you're joking. I would say you're joking. I would be in, a, I would be in my dorm room maybe sleeping after a long day of class. Yeah. So, yeah. So your dream, I guess, is to get to South Korea for the next Winter Games. Oh, yes, yes. yes, I mean, I've been a part of the team for the past almost 10 years. Yeah. So I've been started out as a brake man, been working my way up over the past couple of years. Um, there's time where, like, a season might pass where I don't compete or I don't um, participate in anything. But we always come back because it's bobsled. Nobody else in Jamaica. No, there's no kid, they always say, right, what do you want to be when you grow up? And they're going to say, Bob says, like, what? <laughs> well, you know, over the years, we develop um, our passion for what we do. All right. And Bob said he just fit in perfectly for what I love to do. Well, it was a great story with the Canadian connection in 1988. Uh, the, the generosity you guys have received here yeah, has yeah. been another chapter, and maybe the, the, the third chapter yeah. is going to be in South Korea. Thank you very much for speaking with us, and good luck. No problem. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.